Hello YouTube, Tag Tarsus here again with a little bit of the Elder Scrolls Online beta coverage. I set out this with this video to give everyone an idea of what it means to be a crafter in ESO. Now I'm not by any means the most knowledgeable person in the world in regards to crafting an ESO at this point, but I have put a little effort into it. And what I mean to say by that is my character here, my red guard, I crafted all of his gear. Now that doesn't sound like much and most of the gear doesn't have much stats on it and is a very low level. You see I'm only level 7 when I took this video. But what it does mean is I'm here to give you some insight in how the crafting system works. Now I know some people out there are really in a hurry to show you all the gameplay, all the dungeons. I know some people are out there to show you everything about ESO and I'm sure they've recorded it all. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there in crafting and my goal here is to be as informative as possible. I'm going to try and give you helpful ideas in regards to crafting and things I've picked up on that might help you hit the ground running come launch. You know that's what we all really want to do. We want to launch up the game on launch start moving. Um, so here is my crafting video. Please enjoy. You will notice that I'm a level 7 uh, character. I've crafted all my gear uh, you'll also notice that I have Red Guard designed armor all over, except I made the Breton form of the helmet. One of the cool things about the ESO crafting system is you not only decide what you want to craft, but you decide while you're crafting it what skin you want to give it so that that thing that you're just crafting actually looks cool. It's one of those things that I'm really intrigued by by this game. Um, both the weapons and the armor uh, are capable of getting this kind of uh, design that you build into it. I uh, went into the crafting for the um, armor smith uh, right here. Uh, you'll notice that the axe right here that I'm showing on the screen is a Briton axe. Uh, the axe level is determined by the amount of iron ore that you put into it. You'll also notice this top row right here is the styles as I was just talking to you uh, whether or not you make an axe and then you'll notice that uh, the second row is where I can add more ore to it to raise the level of the item. You'll see as I added more ore it raised the level now I can't use it so I dropped it back down. This next row determines the style. Now you watch as I scroll through the styles in a minute that the axe will change on the screen. Take a look where the axe changes its appearance. You see a different axe. Each race has their own style. And several of the uh, other styles are out there as well, like the Draconic and a few others and they're all just axes. They're, they're all an axe but they're skinned differently when you create them based on your knowledge of what you can create and you'll notice that even though I have the right item over here I can't create it because I haven't learned how to create that particular race and that was an orc axe that I couldn't create. So that's how that functions. the same uh, type of thing actually occurs with the crafting of the armors as well. Now I'm not going to show you all of the armors because you know the boots are different and everything but I will show you just watching the chest piece alone the way the chest piece changes as I change the style of the chest piece.
Now, if this was all there was to the crafting system, I would definitely give it a maybe a four stars and say, hey, pretty good system. You can kind of give it just your own looks. But this is not all there is to it. Um, they've made it to where the crafters themselves have to put effort into learning their craft. And what I say by that is there's now research. Um, as indicated on the screen, uh, or will be in just a second, what, what it is is the crafting system. If you're out in the world and you find a shield that has a stat on it that's called reinforced, which gives it more armor. When you go back to a crafting station or a woodworking station with that shield, you can choose to research that stat, that reinforced stat. And what you do is you basically break that item down for the ability to make reinforced shields. Now, whenever you make a shield, if you have the correct gem to put in the shield at the time of the reinforced, I think reinforced, I looked at it pretty closely because I was able to research that in the game, uh, reinforced would take a diamond. Now, I may be slightly off on that, it's not telling you exactly which items you need, but the idea was that if you found a reinforced shield, you could spend six hours, you, you essentially queue it up, and for six hours you can't make it. But once it's done and you've now crafted your reinforced, or you've now learned how to make reinforced shields, next time you go in there, if you have a diamond, which is that fourth row in, in the crafting section, you can choose to craft a reinforced shield. This is the, uh, the um, section where you choose your, your learning of how to make it. Now I showed this next portion just to show uh, I, I created a brand new character. I went out and I had done very little in the Ebonheart Pact section. And literally I was just showing this to show you that there were mining nodes everywhere. It didn't take me very long to make and craft a full set of gear for myself. And essentially I was level 3 by the time I went back to the crafting stations, there's one in each of the starting little islands that they give us. And what I did is I went back as a no novice crafter. I went back into the city and I sat out to make a set of armor for myself. Now, the thing I want to point out to you is I was still in the basic armor they give you when you start the game, like cloth, tattered rags, nothing straight out of the prison area what I did I went out and I gathered a little bit while I did that first quest and I think I did maybe a quest a quest and a half and I went right back to town and this is the result I got just from having done that I broke down a few items that I got uh, which you do is you go into the third tab at the top and then after I had uh, gone I'm not sure why I was looking at the uh, research tab there, but uh, I was showing you the research tab, uh, which I was showing you a minute ago. But then I went and I didn't have any more armor to break down, but I had all this iron ore. So I double click it, it puts it down there, and then you cr start crafting. It shows how many uh, bars you get, ingots you get for making it. So I made several until I ran out of iron ore, and then I went out and started actually crafting my gear. Uh, the first step was to make sure that I had the flint that was needed to craft the gear because that's what makes it Aragon, uh, Aragonian, uh, which is the lizard people's gear. So I started making my gear. I made my chest piece, which I would have to make it a level one, but you'll notice the stats on it are far superior to my cloth rags. So I thought, what the heck, I'll, I'll do it. I haven't really put much into it. So I made my boots. I think this is where I made my boots. Yeah, I made my boots. Uh, I made my gloves. Yeah, I did make gloves. Um, here in a minute, I'm going to run out of ore. And, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Where I went from no gear, though, to all of a sudden I'm out of flint. So I needed to go buy flint from the... Uh, 
Ah, our mysterious blacksmith guest. vendor. So I went over to her and my I husband bought Holdsgar more flint so I can make more gear that's specific to, to my race. Surprise, you've come to the right place. So I bought a bunch of that, went back over, and I started to craft the rest. And then I realized I don't have enough ore to continue to make a bunch more. So I did make the pants. Um, did make the pants, so I made me a, a not quite a full set, but I made me a set that was very significant for uh, the level that I was because I was coming straight out of these tattered rags. So the reason why I showed you this, and, and I didn't cut out a whole lot here, is because I wanted it to be notable that you could go from start of the game just launched to wow, I'm almost well I, I'm so well geared that this is great that's what I wanted to show you with this I wanted to show you somebody who went from nothing to a lot and I wanted to show and prove to you that you could do that too and as you can see I went from being tattered rags to in some pretty decent looking armor the stats on each piece of armor were significant boost to my armor class, and that I thought was cool. next part of the video is video I took just a few minutes after the video that we just saw. What I did is I went back out into the world, I killed a few more mobs, I did one or two more quests. I really think I didn't level again. I think I was still level 3 whenever I made it back to town, but I didn't spend a whole lot of time. I want to stress this was not hours later. This was literally just a few minutes later. I went out, I gathered some more mats, I came back into town to craft the last few items I wanted. One of them being a two-handed sword, which I did craft as well as what I was about to show you. And I crafted the shoulders and the belt buckle as well. So in just a few minutes you will see that I managed to uh, basically fully equip myself uh, as a newbie character, basically in the newbie yard. I, I have not moved very far into the game and I'm already able to craft items that are far superior to the ones that were given to me in the game and quite frankly would remain that way uh, for multiple levels even though at level 4 I would be able to craft a whole other set for myself and it wouldn't be wrong to do that and I don't think it would take you more than another few minutes of going around and gathering mats to make a new set for yourself um, what I would actually encourage you to do instead of making a level one set like I've done here as a demo what I would recommend that you do is gather your mats until you get to level four once you hit level four go back to the crafting station and make yourself a set of level four gear The level four gear will carry you on to six and six doesn't take that long to get to but there's enough time frame between four and six that you'll have enough mats to make your beyond. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be showing more ESO soon. Thanks again.